Hey Academy Answers, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the Sunday version of the podcast where we talk about something motivational, something inspirational, something solid, something of a growth and a positive mindset to take you through the week. You know, the beginning of a week, the beginning of a day, the beginning of a year in and of itself doesn't hold any particular power, but it indeed has some psychological impact on how people plan to move forward, how people decide to start something new, how people decide to rejuvenate, how people decide to get back on the game. So we try to do something like this every Sunday for the most part to Sunday is my rest day usually. You know, my grandma used to always be vigilant on Sunday. You go to church or you go nowhere at all. There's a day when you step back, when you stay in in like meditation, meditative state, in a reflective state to kind of collect your thoughts, to unwind, to regroup. And um, so on a Sunday, I'm usually easy on a Sunday, but I decide to do this podcast to use the day to help people to empower themselves for a brand new one so this week i want to talk about change and um i i am moved to a conversation that i've had with 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 a a staff i had at the point in time who could not see the bigger picture for anything and um my wife was asking me if i was mad about it and i said no I'm not mad because some people, you can't sell someone who is trying to make a living the idea of creating the life they want because they don't want much. They're not looking to tap into their full potential. They're not looking to explore their deepest and truest, highest version of themselves. They ended up somewhere and they have accepted it. So through school, through going to work, through applying for jobs, they've ended up somewhere in a situation. They, they find themselves in a situation and they have decided that that is it for them. You might hear some showers outside, but it's raining and I'm driving out. So I'm just doing this podcast as I go. So the rain is on the car. It reminds me of when I used to be, you know, coming from rural Jamaica, the country part of the Caribbean island Jamaica, when there was a zinc roof, so when the rain was falling, it was really something that we look forward to listening to. It was just so tranquil hearing the raindrops beat on the zinc. I don't know if you have had that experience. So, pardon me with that sound. It, it's really just beautiful for me. So, you cannot teach people how to create a life who who are just trying to make a living. And I'm telling you that that because maybe you might be around someone who you are frustrated with because you're trying to help them to see something. Maybe it's your staff, maybe it's your adult child, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a co-worker. You're trying to sell them a larger vision. Maybe you're trying to get some, maybe you're close to them and you're trying to get them to go do a course with you. Maybe you're trying to get them to partner in a business with you. Maybe you're trying to get them to just be better, become better, so you can have better people around you. Maybe you're trying to get them to come to a function with you. But I want to tell you that some people need a change. Some people need a transformation. There are some people that refuse to be helped. Some people hate change so much that they don't even want you to change because they would have to change the way they view you and not even that they are willing to change they're so gripped by the comfort zone that they will do nothing to change and they'll do everything to stay the same so i'm trying to tell you do not waste your energy on people like those that's the first part do not waste waste your energy on people who really and truly don't want much There's a bunch of people out here who really do not want more than they have currently. They're living the vulnerable cycle. I call it the vulnerable cycle because there's a lot of people who manage to maneuver and keep it on a decent enough level. With a lot of stress and heartache and restrictions. 
but they manage to keep food on the table. They manage to keep roof over their heads, but they're dying in silence. They're dying a slow death inside because their conscience is eating at them. them. There's something, the spirit, the soul is inside of them telling them that there is more. And because of that, their stress and their anxiety and their depression is so deep rooted that they themselves don't even know what's going on. They think it's a job. They think it's because their child is turning, becoming a bum. They think it's because their parents or their in-laws or their partners are doing this and that. And it is a scapegoat for a really deeper problem that they're having in terms of living a life that is congruent with the spirit, with the potential that they have. So they are faked out on what is causing them all this misery. You have to know these people and you have to separate yourself from them. You have to know that X, Y, and Z, Tom, Dick, or Harry are okay. They made this, make this amount of money. They have this. They're doing this. They're, they're, they're able to maneuver their way financially on a couple of credit cards and a couple of salary and a couple of overtime. And they're good. They're not willing to push the envelope. They think they're too old to learn. They think they, they left school a long time ago. They think only the rich can do this. They think the privileged get to do this. They think that the companies and jobs are abusive and it's taking advantage of them. And everything they see is outward. They're trying to blame and point the finger outward so they can let themselves off the hook. You now have to understand that no one is coming, as like Obama liked to say. No one is coming. You are the change that you are waiting for. Unless you can get a hold of what is it that you need to do to fix your life, to move your life forward unless you can understand that all the external factors w were there are there and will be there for a long time but you now have to develop the skills and the mindset and the discipline and the work ethic and the, the intelligence to work your way through these things then nothing will change. So understand that when the rain falls, it doesn't fall on one man out, out stop. It falls on everybody out stop. Everybody have a problem. Everybody have issues. Everybody have situations. You have to understand that the way you position yourself, the things you do with your time and money, and the outlook and belief system that guide you is what will make the difference in your life, not the external factors. So as you go towards your week, understand that you're not going to change everybody. And whatever change you want for you is buried within personal responsibility. It is you who is going to have to get up and fix your inner world, your mental, and project that to the outer world and things will shift in your favor nothing is going to go away but you'll be able to improve yourself and give yourself a better chance of living a better life or the best life you can possibly live have a good day guys always a pleasure have a powerful week thank you